concept of yin and yang, all right? And I first uh, really understood this well by studying the Venusian arts, applied to the Venusian arts, and Love Drop. He's the man who went over it uh, extensively. So I'm going to go over some of the concepts that I understand, and then take it a, a step, I wouldn't say further, but a different step, which is my background in martial arts, 23 or 22, almost 23 years now, okay? So I'm going to start with that first. The yin and the yang. Yin represents passive or feminine energy or receptive energy. Yang is the opposite. It's positive, male energy, forward energy. It's a thrust, whereas yin is a pullback, okay? How does this relate to game? All right, well, I'll give you my understanding of it now, and then I'm gonna, when, I transfer, when I flip over to the Venusian arts, understanding of it, then I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to make sure credit is given here. All right, so let's go for the Venusian arts first. What's yin? Well, that's how you get affected as a person. Okay, they call that the ghost. You have to be like a ghost, right? You can't, you can't be hit with shit. If you're a ghost and someone comes out and like, pff, pff, goes right through you. On the receptive side of life, when you're gaming, you have to be like a ghost. Your yin has to be like a ghost. You're not getting smacked every time she says something or she cancels on you or she doesn't suck your cock or whatever the fuck is going on. You're like, oh, 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 oh. No, you, that's the yin. How do you receive? Like a ghost. The yang, when it comes to Venusian arts, they call it the flame. So the ghost and the flame. That's what you put out, out from you, okay? And uh, Love Job had a really beautiful piece about it, about um, Care Bears. You know, the Care Bear Stare. There was these bears that had these things on their stomach, like rainbows and flowers and shit. They would shoot it out and happiness would come out on the other side. They would make grumpy people happy. That's the yang when it comes to uh, explaining it in the game and from the Venusian arts. And that's, that's actually very true. What you put out has to be what? Positive. All right? What are some yang attitudes? Like warm, friendly, uh, slightly crazy... Right? Yin attitude would be like unaffected, unattached, uh, not needy. See the difference? One is this way, one is the other way. Pushing out will be warm, positive vibe, playful, in, unaffected, unattached, not needy, not seeking approval. That's the yin and the yang, right? Now let's get into the philosophy of it a little bit further when it comes to the martial arts and how I see it into the game. Now, this is what's important. Not These two don't stand by themselves, ever. The yin and the yang are shh, together. Like the electricity, plus and minus, right? That'll be yin and yang. They flow only when there's both put together. If you have two, po two positives, there's no electricity. Two negatives, there's no electricity. You have to have a plus and a minus, and that's the dynamic that gets created. So, if you're just warm, friendly, and happy, warm, friendly, and happy, and you're just doing your shit, and you're ah, ha, ha, kind of crazy, but every time she smacks you, bam, you get smashed, you're not very stable. You have to have that, plus you have to have the other one. So when you go into set, you got to have your mind ready. It's got to be like, here's what I put out, and I'm ready to receive, and th these two have to be, there has to be an inner play between the two. You're not always going to be the... Guy that's, yeah, yeah, that, and that. You're going to have to be receptive at some point and listen. Oh, that, that would be a martial arts philosophy, yin. I'm receptive. Yang, I speak. Yin, I receive. Okay? So, the yin and the yang, what, let, let's keep it going further into the game and how it relates to what you're doing. You, as a, if you're attracting a female, that's a yin. If you approach her as yin, <laughs> good luck. She won't feel that dynamic pull. If you approach her as yang, there's an interplay between you and her right away. This is what happens when a bad boy steps into the scene, or a man, alpha male, steps up. She feels it right away. She feels something. Whereas if another guy walks up who's very um, feminine, and I don't necessarily mean like I'll give you an example. Marilyn Manson seems very feminine. When I study him very extensively, he's not. He very much stands firm for what he believes in. He doesn't give a shit what people think. When he rocks, he rocks the mic like no one's rocked it before. So don't get fooled by him wearing lipstick and, and kind of standing like that. You know what I mean? 
girls around him feel a very powerful sexual energy from him because the male side is very dominant and very strong, okay? The outside looks feminine, but that's the dynamic that he plays. But that's also part of the huge attraction. If you study people who had uh, seduction techniques in the past, like Casanova and people like them, a lot of them had, uh, Don Juan DeMarco had a feminine side, it seemed like to them. But they were very masculine in their sexuality, okay? That's a powerful dynamic. But anyways, uh, that's not really what I'm gonna go with this. Yin and yang. If she's yin and you walk up yin in your in your inner game and you're soft and you're weak and you're nothing. If you walk up yang, she's gonna feel something. What what she feels is energy. Plus and minus electricity hits in the middle. Now it's up to you to create that electric what that electricity is, you have to give it a frame. What you just felt, what was it? That's where you come in. Right? <clears throat> a lot of times, guys that don't know pick up, it actually happened the other day. I was, uh, I was somewhere, these three girls walked in, I was with a bunch of guys, four guys. The girls walked in, three girls, one of them was pretty attractive, the other one's okay, the other one was attractive, but one was really, really attractive. And all the guys started reacting, and I was just on the side. The, she was talking to one of my friends in the front. He said to her, that guy over there, he has a gym. Right? I looked up, I said, yeah, but you know what? You have to be a 10 or a 9 to work out with me. So good luck. That's exactly, I just dismissed it like that. So good luck. I was stretching on the ground. And she goes, excuse me? I went in the back. I said, you heard me, a 10. Like, supremely hot. I got to deal with girls that are not 10s. But if you're a 10, you're welcome to come to my gym. Oh, now the other one, what? Oh, I'm sure. Okay, I'm just being honest with you. Okay, nice to meet you. They leave. Oh, before they left, one of them threw something back because I needed, I asked them, they were from an insurance company, I asked them to stay with my insurance. And she was like, well, good luck with the insurance now, you're on your own, but with a smile on her face. She walked out. And my friend said, hey man, what kind of technique was that? I said, and I began to explain, there was a couple of other guys. One guy was really getting it. The other guys were kind of scared. I said, I didn't get those girls around me by doing what you guys just did. And I tried, proceeded to explain to them a little bit what the fuck was happening. Now, Later on, I was talking to the guy, and he said, what well, my friend said to me, he said, to me it seemed you were almost rude. I said, yes, I get what you're saying. I could come across rude. I said, but the subtlety of me smiling when I said it and joking, and the fact that she threw a joke back after she left, I said, that's something that I, I saw in the interaction. She didn't get angry and go, what a dickhead and leave. She may have walked out and go, God, that guy's arrogant. Good. Electricity was created. <laughs> I said, now, if you really want to see this, I guarantee you in the next month, that girl and I will know each other. Guaranteed. Phone number, we'll go out, whatever. I said, that's if you want me to show you. All right? And then the conversation kept going, and I decided not to. Because it was around his business area. And, uh, you know, I don't want to mess with his business. They work over there. Fuck it. It's not my business. I don't need to talk to her. You know what I mean? But anyways, the point is, they came in, and the guys in the room suddenly... Instead of stepping up manly, trying to be really nice, which was very in. They talked to me. I was stretching on the floor. I looked out. Yeah, I only, I only work out with tens, nines. If she's even not a ten or nine, don't even think about it. So, like, well, excuse me, you heard me. Ten. If you're a ten, you stand at ten. If not, don't worry about it. I'm just being honest with you. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Okay? Energy is created. Now, if I, let's say I proceeded to continue my interaction. I would show up to their work, which was very close, and they work for the some company that I need help with, with some, some card that I have. And I would show up, and I would smile, and they would, I'm sure, give me some kind of a AMOG thing, like, oh, well, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't need that. I don't know what the fuck they would say, and I would smile, and I'd be like, listen, I just came to say whatever the fuck I would say. It wouldn't be an apology, it would be something clever. I just came to say, listen, I'm becoming very famous. I'm giving you guys an opportunity right now to get my autograph for a hundred bucks. That's it. This is it. It's not a sales pitch. It's like a favor I'm doing. And then, oh, hey, listen, I'm kidding. Jesus, you guys, no, I really need help with my card. So, and then I would become a regular guy, very friendly, very warm, and I would interact. Now, I can guarantee you, they haven't had a guy like me around. Not, none that look like me, none that act like me, and my confidence would shine. I would show them pre-selection. As quick as I could, my phone would come out because of something to do with my card, and I would say, oh, oh check out that picture. What do you think? That's actually my girlfriend right there. It would be my girlfriend and six other girls. 
or seven or eight, I don't remember. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. She's gorgeous, right? Oh my God, yeah, I love her. It's the greatest thing that's happened to me. But, let's not get, a, get ahead of ourselves. I'm the greatest thing that ever happened to her. She knows that too. Oh, aren't you cocky? Of course I'm cocky. I have to be. Let me ask you a question. Would you go to the jungle and tell the lion you're cocky? Would it be weird if a lion walked around like a, like a, uh, like a lamb? A lion was like, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I know, my mane is kind of big. I'm kind of strong. No, that would be weird, right? They'd start laughing. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm a lion. I'm not a dickhead, I'm a lion. So I know what's going on, but you know what's really cool? Anybody ever walks in here while I'm here, I'll fuck them up if they fuck with you. That's a fact. You know that about me. Anyways, why are we talking about this? Let's get going. Here's what I need help with. I'm transferring them and I'm running the interaction. But I'm definitely going as a gang. I'm... What's that called? What is that word when you... God damn it, I use that word all the time. You know when you calibrate, shit. <laughs> I'm calibrating. If I'm too much, I'm going to back off. That's the yin comes in suddenly. And if she says something to me, I can't get freaked out. But in order to create a dynamic, I'd have to be a man. All right, so one of the things is if you've never played with this, if you've never played with this energy, you have to learn what it feels like and how people respond to it. Because I can see somebody who's never done that will overdo it and will come out as a complete dickhead. Like, wow, dude. And turn girls off. Well, let me tell you something. I have fucking turned off a lot of motherfucking girls to be able to turn on a lot of girls. Now. But I've gone through the motherfucking thing. Let me tell you, man. I have story after story after story after story of when I fucked up. But I did know that my pickup goal was I wanted to be the, the kind of pickup artist that was like a man. That was important to me. I've seen, I've seen pickup artists that even, um, that even uh, what do you call it, boast or brag about like they're gay in the field. Great, that's not me. Has nothing to do with me. <laughs> As a fighter, I can't be gay in the field. There's like no respect for my friends. My friends are like, oh, you're a great fighter. We go, I'm like, check this out. I'm going to check out, the, pick up this chick. Hey, what's up, girl? You know, it's like, what? Dude, what happened to you? Well, trust me. No, no, no. I want to keep it as real as possible, right? So, as I'm teaching, that's important to me. Now, what if you're like, well, I, I like being gay. Okay, well, that's great. I don't know if I'm the right instructor for you. I don't know. I mean, I can help you with that, but I'm just, I'm, I'm speaking on my game right now. So maybe the, I'm sure the advice will help. Uh, so, it was my goal to go through what I had to go through to be able to uh, generate that male energy and know how to calibrate it. So now, am I like the master of it? No, but definitely I know what I'm doing. I'm aware when I push too hard, I pull back a little bit. It honestly even happened on that phone call, that the, 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 the thing is. There was a moment where I pulled back. I gave a shit about Tima Rush, blah, blah, blah. She went the other way. I said, okay, cool. When you come back in town, give me a call, boom. That's it, wrapped it up. To push any further would have been stupid. I don't need to, okay? It's done. So. You have to give it a try. All the shit, you got to give it a try. And you have to be willing to lose a few times. Okay? I, I just went heavily back into jiu-jitsu again. And let me tell you, I'm having a, a difficult time. Because my friends are really good right now. This, this is no joke when I train. I don't train with joke. I train with some of the best, in the, definitely in the area, maybe in the world. So I'm like, fuck, man. But it messes with me mentally until... Well, I think about it, I, I swear to God, I think about it 24 hours a day, like straight up. I just, I, I don't stop thinking about jujitsu. But uh, the way I, I handle my ease of, I ease my mind is I just go, yo, do I love what I do? Yes. Am I willing to lose a million times to be the way I imagine myself to be? Yeah. Okay, good. So I'm back in the game again. All right. It's not like I'm getting my ass kicked lifted, right? But knowing how I was and how I am now is not a good thing for me. I've lost a lot of skill in the last four months. Okay. So, yay. Yin and yang, energy, male energy. So now that's different. Now I'm not talking about flame and ghosts any longer. I'm saying if you want to create a dynamic when you walk in the room, you be a man. Okay? Good. Now what happens if you got another yang? Alpha male. Boom, boom. Okay? Well, you can either align or oppose. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. I'm only gonna break, break your, break.